Hello everyone, I'm Kote. Today I will tell you three stories why we are sleepy after eating. Let's start with common myth that eating turkey causes drowsiness and sleepiness. Actually, turkey contains amino acids which is called tryptophan and tryptophan is converted to serotonin in the blood and serotonin is a hormone which causes relaxation and sleepiness also. That's why this meat is partially true. But the main point here is that turkey does not contain so much tryptophan that uh, it can directly cause relaxation and sleepiness. Uh, that's why it's not direct effect of turkey, but it's effect of large meal. And here is second important question why large meals causes drowsiness and sleepiness. Here is most important answer. This is activating of parasympathetic system. Parasympathetic system is part of autonomic nervous system. Autonomic nervous system manages uh, our uh, body's uh, involuntary functions such as blood pressure, heart rate, um, our breathing and many involuntary processes is managed by parasympathetic nervous system. And uh, food and eating activates parasympathetic nervous system and it causes blood directs towards liver, towards intestines and towards gastrointestinal tracts. So our blood directs uh, towards gastrointestinal tract. It means less blood towards uh, brain. And less blood in the brain means drowsiness, fatigue and uh, sleepiness. So main mechanism is activating of parasympathetic nervous system activating of parasympathetic nervous system means more blood towards liver towards uh, our stomach towards intestines and less blood to the brain less blood to the brain causes fatigue sleepiness and drowsiness also parasympathetic nervous system affects heart it decreases heart rate and it decreases heart pressure. It means less bloody in the brain again. But as we said, blood flow is increased in gastrointestinal tracts. Also, hormones such as gastrin and insulin is produced and released in our body. It also requires lots of energy and body uh, using uh, lots of energy to digest food it requires uh, lots of energy that's why also it cause we are heavy we are fatigued we are drowsiness so it's also another element because body synthesize hormones and uh, ferments enzymes uh, and also here is inter interesting fact when parasympathetic nervous system is activated it also means more blood on genitalia and it can be can play some part of sexual arousal also uh, after eating another mechanism why we uh, why we feel sleepy after eating is blood glucose level especially if we eat uh, carbohydrates and sugars blood glucose level increases too much it causes release of insulin and release of insulin means this uh, blood glucose level drops instantly because it's absorbed by cells because of insulin uh, and it is called glucose crush also glucose crush effect which means I 
ate cake but my blood glucose level dropped because compensatory insulin levels increased so it means uh, even I ate lots of glucose my blood glucose level is still low because it's absorbed and used by cells because of increased of insulin level and uh, what it means it means less blood to the uh, less glucose to the brain and glucose is main source of energy for the brain and brain requires 20 percent of our energy of our glucose glucose brain is around 12 percent of our body but it requires 20 percent of our energy it's huge huge rate uh, uh, brain requires huge energy and when blood glucose level is dropped uh, brain has no glucose brain has no fuel and we have sense of fatigue and sense of weakness and sense of drowsiness but of course uh, other uh, cells have uh, glucose and have energy after this of course body uh, body um, turn on a compensatory mechanism it's gluconeogenesis and glucose is produced again and starts glucose fluctuation in the body and eventually body compensates this uh, uh, dropping glucose level but short-term effect is brain has no glucose brain has no fuel it means um, drowsiness and sleepiness again and uh, let's say about emotional eating it's very important because lots of people eating in response of emotions not in response of physiological ca uh, hunger but in response to emotional uh, emotional stress these emotional conditions can be uh, positive and negative uh, maybe person can eat when he is afraid or he has anxiety uh, or he uh, narrows about anything maybe he copes his emotions by eating and another person can eat when 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 she is happy when she has positive emotions it's also emotional eating and why why people trying uh, to compensate uh, the stress by eating because during eating dopamine is released dopamine is released because eating eating is model of rewarding and dopamine activates as a rewarding system uh, that's why dopamine do, uh, dopamine level increases and satisfaction increases or person as stress level is decreased um, second is serotonin especially if person is eating uh, meat then he or she gets tryptophan and tryptophan further uh, converted to serotonin and serotonin causes relaxation and serotonin has also antidepressant uh, antidepressant activity that's why uh, some people who who are uh, tense to depression they get food uh, to compensate that serotonin level and uh, finally endorphins endorphins is painkiller and a person gets pleasure when eating because of endorphin endorphin levels is increased of course emotional eating is not good for our health and it can cause eating disorders that's why um, we should we should avoid emotional eating but uh, it does not mean that emotional eating always leads to um, uh, eating disorders it's not true because lots of uh, uh, people eating in response to emotions and they have no uh, eating disorders but uh, we should be careful because emotional eating can lead to weight gain obesity and diabetes and increased risk of heart disease 
cancers and chronic diseases. Now let's summarize what we talked. Uh, Turkey does not directly increase um, sleepiness and relaxation but indirectly there is mechanism because it contains tryptophan, tryptophan is converted to serotonin and it causes relaxation. Uh, another and more important mechanism why we are sleepy after eating is parasympathetic activity. Parasympathetic nervous system activity means more blood to gastrointestinal tract, more blood to stomach, more blood to liver, more, more blood to intestines, and less blood to brain. Less blood to brain means less oxygen to brain, and uh, brain feels tired and uh, drowsing. Uh, it also, uh, parasympathetic nervous system also causes decreased heart rate, decreased uh, pressure, blood pressure, and it, uh, it enhances this effect to the brain. Also, it, uh, parasympathetic nervous system activity means more hormones, more serotonin, more insulin in the body, and it requires lots of energy, and this energy consumption makes us feel more tired. Uh, and glucose, glucose crash. When we eat lots of sugars, uh, glucose level drops because insulin levels up and uh, insulin leads to glucose to the cell and glucose is consumed and it means less, brain, less glucose to the brain and brain needs fuel and only fuel for the brain is glucose and in this case brain has no fuel and uh, brain feels tired brain feels fatigued and lastly it was emotional eating we eat in response of emotions because because eating makes feel as uh, rewarded because dopamine level up uh, re more re relaxed because serotonin level up and we get player because endorphins up that's emotional eating thank you for your interest if you like my channel please subscribe if you like my videos please thumbs up thank you very much